All right, <clears throat> we got an Xbox Series X here today. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble it. It has a broken HDMI port on it. I might use something else to take that off. Just got some new tweezers. So. Use those new tweezers to take it off here. We're using a T9 bit to take all these out. Torx bit. We need to slide this guy off here. Some of these are easy to get off, some of them aren't. Like that one was super easy. And then we got some screws here on the bottom that we gotta take off there. So hopefully we can let's go ahead and move this back. All right. Now we just need to take everything out. I'm gonna start with the fan. Come straight up. Oops. And then we have this guy right here, which there was a screw in it. Uh, basically, there is a little area in here, right in here. Let's see right here. And you can just push up on that and this will come up basically like a little clip holding it in there i have to look at it when i do it though challenging if not and you can kind of just pry it from right here pull up and then pull that out now we have access to the disc drive here so we're going to go ahead and pull those cables out be careful when you do it don't pull with too much force because you can break the connectors down here all right now that we got those out we can go ahead and slide the disc drive out which looks the same as the other disc drives in the xbox one s and one x all right now we have to take these two ribbon cables out here the smaller one you push the tab in and pull up on it the bigger one you have to pull the tab out and then pull up on that one as well and we're just going to pull back this piece of tape here now that we have that loose we just need to slide back like maybe a quarter of an inch and then pull out oh i forgot about this little sticky part here all right and then we can just pull that straight out you gotta set the box aside all right now we need to take off this rubber strap here which doesn't have any use at all in my opinion maybe it helps it from the, you know this part not moving around on the inside or something but i still don't think that it's very useful and we gotta take the screws out here. There's three of them here. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Looks like I need a new bit. This one seems to be getting a little uh, beat up there. And that just pops straight out. Now we can take out all the screws. There's one right here. Same on the other side, right here, right here. And then, you know, around here, they're all going to vary in size. They're all different, but they're pretty much color coded. Uh, so the grayish ones are going to be the long ones. 
And then you have ones that are kind of silver, and those are the medium length. And then you have the black ones, and the black ones are the shortest screws. So you just go ahead and take all those out. And then there's a little cover here, and under, underneath that cover we have another black screw there. We can go ahead and take that one out. And then we can pop up this little cable holder here for the power supply. Slide this out. And then, oh yeah. And then we gotta pull up on this tray here. Oh, there's another screw that I forgot. Right here. We're just gonna pull up and carefully slide it out this way. All right, now we have another cable holder right here, which looks uh, messed up a little bit. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Then you got the disconnect. This connector here has a little tab on it. And we're going to go ahead and lift that up. And there's another tab right here. We need to push in on that and pull up. Move side to side very carefully on the power supply. Now that we have that out, we can go ahead and take this ribbon out here. This is one of the newer models. You can tell because the uh, connector for the ribbon is right here in the middle. Or the tab, I mean. On the older ones, it was on the side and it was a real pain to get it off. So now we just need to pull up on the first layer and slide that ribbon through there. So also on this model, there's no cover over this, which was a real pain in the older models. Uh, it just made it completely unnecessary and it just took more time to take it off, so... We're just going to go ahead and slide that cable out too. There's that little tab that I was talking about. And then we can take these four screws out. I back them out a little bit first. Because if you back them out completely, if you back them out completely, then it's just going to pop. And it'll probably knock something off. So you just want to be very careful. You don't want that to happen. Now we can take that guy off there. Now we just need to remove this bottom layer. Sometimes you need to use something to pry up on it. This one seems kind of loose. We might just be able to get it with our fingers. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get it on the back side. Yeah, we got to pry it a little bit here. So we're going to use handy dandy screwdriver here. I always recommend using something flat, but since we can go ahead and get this up a little bit. And you always want to stay on the sides. You never want to angle it inwards towards the board or else you'll damage something on the board. But if you keep it on the side, there's no components all around the side here. And uh, now we just need to get to the fun part, which is removing and replacing that HDMI port there.